in practice. What does the tort system do? To understand it, you, I've given you a couple of tables which I hope will be useful to you. I distinguish, first of all, special damages from general damages. Practitioners talk in terms of specials and generals. And although practitioners can use the term rather loosely at times, basically, this is what, what they're supposed to contain. Special damages have to be specially asked for. <laughs> That's why they're spe specially pleaded. That's why they're the specials. Why is that? Because you can precisely calculate them at the date of trial or the date of settlement. You, you can precisely calculate, for example, the financial losses, the past financial losses. You can precisely calculate the loss of earnings, the cost of care, the expenses. You know, you can pre calculate precisely how much were you earning a week You've been off work for 10 weeks, therefore you've lost my pounds. Um, you've lost the, uh, the damaged clothing. You've lost the um, uh, damage to the car. You've paid for those physiotherapy private um, uh, medical treatment. There's a, there's a bill there. You've got to keep all those bills. Um, it's financial loss already incurred. It's, it's more certain. You have to ask for it specifically, but you can calculate it down to the last penny. Special damages. That's in contrast to general damages. You don't have to specifically plead this. The judge will award it to you without you specifically asking for it. What does that involve? It's because it, they naturally arise. It's not precisely quantifiable. What does it involve? As you see there, future lost earnings. Earnings into the future are much more uncertain. You haven't had them yet. You don't know what the losses precisely might be. The future cost of care, the future expenses, Future financial loss is involved here. But also, importantly, non-pecuniary loss. The pain, suffering, and loss of immunity, which I'm going, to that's what I'm going to focus on in the lecture just shortly. So, special damages and general damages, a threefold division. Past losses there, future losses here. Past financial losses here, non-pecuniary losses here. The next table I have, I think, in many ways, is, 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 is so important. It's a very, very old table. It's the Pearson Commission of 1978. But the table is basically still correct. Let's try and explain it. It's basically still the right figures. Give or take a few percentage points. Let's look at it. What does the tort system actually achieve? When I talk to students about that, when they, before they come to tort, if I, and sometimes in the first tutorial, we used to have questions like, what do you think the tort system does? Oh, it enables um, very seriously injured people to get money. Um, they, what do they want? They, well, they want their lost earnings. They want to make sure the mortgage is there. And they want money for their future uh, medical costs as well. Tort enables seriously disabled people not to be out of pocket. That's what the tort system does. No, it's not. Look at these figures. Special, okay, let's use some pecuniary loss. Special damages, your past pecuniary losses is about a quarter of the total damages. About 24% of the total damages in tort, that's a percentage, are accounted for by the past financial losses. Uh -uh. General damages are far more important. General damages are, are three quarters of the total damages. Future pecuniary loss, the future financial needs, your future lost income, look, your future lost income is relatively small. It's 8 point, that's not 83%, that's 8.3%. Future expenses, 1.6. Put them together, we're looking at about 9.9, .9, almost 10%. It's for future pecuniary loss. Now, here's the killer. What's tort all about? Two thirds of the money in tort is awarded for pain, suffering, and loss of immunity. The law of tort is dominated by pain and suffering and loss of immunity. Academics virtually have no idea about the importance of non-financial loss to the system and how little the system deals with very serious injury cases. It's dealing with a flood 
of small cases of little value. It's the minor whiplash injury. It's the average payment of two and a half thousand pounds. It's very small beer. That's what tort is about. A vast number, almost a million small claims, largely small claims. The large cases are few and far between. You could, you could change the relative importance of these figures. Uh, you see, uh, if, I, if I move to more serious cases, um, by serious in 1978, they gave the figure of uh, 25,000 pounds. Ignore that. It's, that's out of date, miles out of date. But if you move to more serious cases, the figures change, of course. Uh, you can imagine, in more serious cases, the loss of earnings it can be greater, your future loss of earnings. Um, you can see future expenses growing. Here I said the average overall is 9.9, .9, adding those figures together. You can see that it's 45% in the serious cases, however you define them. And non-pecuniary loss then drops down to 48. Certainly, in the more serious cases, you've got a different pattern. But taught overall, that's the overall pattern. And that's a tremendously important uh, uh, um, table. <clears throat> 